Welcome to the Dream in Green Academy training video. We are excited to kick off this year by offering schools an array of environmental education activities to integrate into your school's environmental initiatives. This year, there are a few updates to our programs, which we will share with you in just a moment. But first, let's discuss why there is a need for more intensive environmental education and why becoming an environmental steward is so important. The Environmental Protection Agency states that an environmental education is important because it creates a process that allows individuals to explore environmental issues, engage in problem solving, and take direct action to improve the world around us. As a result, individuals develop a deeper understanding of environmental issues and have the skills to make informed and responsible decisions. While climate change is a reality, there are many still that dispute its existence or its causes, making environmental education even more critical, especially for a younger generation. Climate change, the result of burning fossil fuels, among other factors, represents one of the most pressing challenges in human history. Recent decades have been the warmest of the past 1,500 years. Carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere, the most significant greenhouse gas, are the highest they have been in the past 650,000 years. And we don't need to remind you that South Florida is one of the most vulnerable locations in the world to the impacts of a changing climate. Indeed, we are already experiencing rising seas, increased wildfires, degrading coral reefs, and more erratic rainfall patterns due to an increase in global temperatures. According to the North American Association of Environmental Educators, at no other time in Earth's history have humans had as great an impact on the planet systems. Disagreements about how to best approach the issues raised by the interactions between humans and Earth's life support systems will continue to challenge social and political systems. And it is clear that only an environmentally literate public will be able to find workable, evidence-based solutions for these challenges. Therefore, our transition to more sustainable, cleaner energy sources is critical to addressing climate change. Huge progress is being made in this arena. Just last year, renewable energy accounted for more than 12% of the energy generated in the U.S. for the first time ever. Additionally, by limiting our own individual footprints and educating the next generation about their role in reducing their use of finite resources, we can collectively make a big difference in the future of our planet. With your involvement, K-12 students will begin to understand the importance of environmental stewardship, of reducing their environmental footprint and ensuring that more sustainable world that we can all thrive in. The projects students complete each month and the leadership skills they've developed along the way will have a long-lasting impact at the school, in our community, and in the prospective professional careers. Leading to a more sustainable lifestyle is achievable. It's all about learning to adopt new habits and behaviors and sharing that new lifestyle with those around you. Founded in 2006, Dream and Green's mission is to empower individuals to respond to climate change and other environmental challenges facing local and global communities. We assist diverse organizations, including schools, households, local governments, and businesses to reduce their environmental footprint, track their success, and recognize achievements. Through establishing partnerships in our community, we develop, implement, and oversee educational programs and workshops that promote environmentally sustainable behaviors among all age groups with a particular emphasis on K-12 students. Dream and Green has served the South Florida community by using hands-on education as a tool to implement our mission. To date, our program has served over 330 unique schools, which have helped save their school district over $3.3 million in utility costs by conserving 35.4 million kilowatt hours of electricity, which equates to offsetting 53.9 million pounds of CO2 from entering the atmosphere. This is equivalent to taking almost about 3,500 homes off the electricity grid for a year. With your help, we are leading South Florida to a more sustainable future. What are the benefits of a green school? Our programs are free, flexible, and can complement any green initiatives already in place at the school. Initiatives implemented aim to reduce schools' utility costs by becoming more energy and resource efficient. Actions taken can improve the management of school facilities and resources and provide a healthier environment for all school occupants. Another Academy benefit is that the Green Schools Challenge aligns with Miami-Dade County's STEM Pacing Guide. Teachers can receive points for their school that count towards achieving STEM designation, which encourages ongoing growth and performance in the areas of STEM. 
It is our hope that more of South Florida schools receive green ribbon designations through the Florida Department of Education. Therefore, we have structured our curriculum to help your school begin this achievable and remarkable goal. The Academy consists of the Green Schools Challenge implemented this year at three different program levels. The elementary school program is designed for grades pre-K through fifth grade. The middle school program engages sixth grade through eighth grade, and the high school program includes grades ninth through twelfth. What does this mean for your school? Schools will now compete against other schools at their same level, instead of competing against all schools enrolled in the Academy, which is designated to level the playing field. What has not changed this year is that schools will continue to complete various tasks throughout the year to accrue points. Schools will begin by completing a list of basic requirements of September and will continue to explore various topics from October through March and finish the program year in April by evaluating and celebrating their work. With each topic, schools will have an opportunity to submit proof of their participation and initiatives. Schools at each program level can win recognition as either Green Schools Challenge winners, Green Machine Schools, or Green Rising Stars. As we all know, this school year will look different than any of those before it, but we are entering it together. Dream and Green staff is dedicated to continue offering its free programming in these uncertain times. The Green Schools Challenge was previously moved entirely online with a dedicated website for each of the three levels, elementary, middle, and high. It is here where you can find all of the tools, lessons, rubrics, submission forms, and resources you will need to successfully implement the Green Schools Challenge. As always, we begin the program in September with the professional development training, or in your case, by watching this video, where teachers learn how to implement the program at their school. In addition to this video, Dream and Green has put together more video tutorials available on our YouTube channel that walk you through the steps of applying for the program, as well as how to navigate the online curriculum, including how to find lessons and where you can submit them. Dream and Green staff is here to support you throughout this entire journey, so please do not hesitate to call or email us with any questions you may have about the websites or the programs in general. After attending our professional development training or watching this video, teachers will begin the Green Schools Challenge by completing the pillars, or the foundations of the program within their school. The first pillar is to create a green team and take a green pledge. Green team members can include fellow teachers, administrators, students, environmental clubs, and even parents. Once formed, a green pledge should be developed. The pledge provides students the opportunity to commit to environmental sustainability at the beginning of their green journey. While you won't physically be with your students, there are still ways for them to show their commitment, for example, through a PSA video, pledge card, or poster. I'm sure you will all find ways to get creative this year. The second pillar requires green teams to conduct an environmental self-assessment online. This checklist will help you evaluate your school's environmental performance, identify opportunities for improvement, and enhance your environmental program. The questions included help to assess how your school manages solid waste, energy, air quality, and water. The checklist, taken in part from the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, was designed to encourage you, your colleagues, and students to think about new ways to manage your facility and identify ways to reduce your environmental impact. The last pillar introduces a component that asks green teams to set their school's environmental goal. Some examples provided in the guidebook can lead the green team to organize ideas and create strategies that will help create an action plan for achieving your school's goal. The green team chooses one goal from four of the topics that the Green Schools Challenge focuses on, water, energy, waste, or general environmental improvement, and provides a clear evaluation method to measure the effectiveness and creates an action plan that is easily implemented and tracked. Supported by teachers, parents, and facility staff, the green team implements the plan during the course of the school year. These pillars are required by every school enrolled in the Green Schools Challenge. Throughout the year, from October to March, students will focus on six main topics that include energy efficiency and conservation, water quality and conservation, waste reduction and recycling, green living, which focuses on green buildings and green careers, alternative transportation, and food security. The green team will complete one activity per month and fill out the online submission form. Any attachments, including pictures, videos, essays, will be emailed directly to the program manager. You can find the rubrics, deadlines, and submission forms online. In April, schools are encouraged to celebrate Earth Month and Earth Day by hosting an Eco Summit. 
This past year was the first time our schools had to come together virtually to show off their projects, hard work, and love for the environment. Many were still able to celebrate and even include the parents and community members. The program ends with the annual award ceremony. In order to be recognized at the award ceremony, your school must accrue points throughout the year. Possible points are earned by completing the beginning of the year activities, the monthly activities, end of year activities, and bonus activities. Top scoring schools, students, teachers, and administrative staff are recognized for their hard work. The winners will receive trophies, certificates, banners, and cool prizes. Last year, we had to adjust to a virtual award ceremony, but we hope to be able to celebrate in person. Like every year, Dream and Green is proud of its partners that help make the Green Schools Challenge possible. We would like to highlight our continued partnership with the Ocean Conservancy, who have brought us on to assist with their initiative, Shores Forward, in collaboration with the City of Miami. Another exciting opportunity for schools enrolled in the Green Schools Challenge is the Green Leadership Grants Program. This program allows green teams to compete for funding to create and bring a monthly challenge activity to life. There are a few other changes to this program, so please review the online guidebook for more information and for the fillable proposal forms. A total of $10,000 in grants will be awarded this academic year, so don't miss this opportunity for your school to receive a piece of the pie. The Academy is a testament to the impact Dream and Green has had and continues to have in South Florida. We are thrilled at the opportunity of expanding environmental education opportunities for K-12 schools and look forward to continue empowering people to become environmental stewards. You are now ready to begin your green journey. And remember, have fun and our staff is always available to help you throughout the school year.